Last week we bought a 1996 Land Rover Discovery and this week we turned it into a camper. After three years of full-time van life in North America, we have decided to downsize to something smaller for our travels here in New Zealand. So let us take you on a journey of how we did it. So we got some lengths of one by three, a sheet of plywood, piano hinge, some wood glue, screws, and some adhesive carpet squares. Okay, so we're here at Bunnings for the first time. I guess that's like Home Depot here. We measured out with our tiny little measuring tape. <laughs> what we think will be the all the things that we need for our little conversion right now. But um, I mean, as we know, it always takes one more trip than we actually think it's going to. It, uh, it covers 300 by 300 centimeters. B. Nine feet, nine by nine, yeah, so this will be fine. You know, being Canadian has really confused us because the way that we have measurements is like a mix between how basically most of the world does it and then American. So we use inches and feet. We don't usually normally use centimeters. We use Celsius, but we don't use Fahrenheit. So we're already used to that. We use, we use kilometers, but we don't use miles. We use milliliters, but then we use ounces. So it's very confusing, but then we use cups. I don't know, we don't use grams, kilograms. So we're gonna have to get used to the centimeter thing pretty quickly here. It's almost like we just did this in our ambulance, pre-sale. So be ready for the next person. So this place that we are staying at is not where we're gonna be living permanently. It's just like a short term accommodation. Coincidentally, they have some tools that we are thankfully able to use. So I don't have to rent or buy a circular saw, any drills, levels, straight edges, nothing. Like it's all here, which is fantastic. We're like, we totally lucked out and we're so thankful. And we took some heavy inspiration from Allison Anderson who turned her SUV into a camper for our build. So you'll see in this video that Nick did most of the work, if not all of the work, for this build. So I'm gonna stop saying we here and I'll just let Nick tell you what he did. Originally what we were gonna do in the build was just have these seats pushed forward, but that kind of leaves like a lot of space up front that is going unused. So then I was gonna remove the seats entirely but then we don't really know what to do with the spare seats. We do want to keep them because we're not going to be here forever and when we sell the vehicle it's nice to have them. But instead of doing that, we don't really need that much storage underneath. Like this thing isn't like our ambulance where we lived in it full time. So I think what I'll do is I'll just build a skeleton that fits right here to the height of the seats. And then we have a platform that will lay on top of the skeleton and then just use the seats as like the rest of the support. So I guess I'll start building that now. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. It's Seems like a relatively easy thing to do. I always think that and then it's like hours and hours later I'm like, oh yeah, and this and this and this. After getting all of our materials, the very first thing that I built was this framework here and this sits in the trunk sort of area behind the back seats and it just holds up the back end of the bed. I figured that this framework would be a lot lighter and also provide us the opportunity to remove it really easily, which was a little bit different than some of the other options that we saw online. I just made a skeleton out of one by three, and then we can just lay the plywood on top. Next was cutting the piece of plywood to the correct size. Ah! Uh, oh my god, that looks awesome. And it's, I can stretch all the way out on it. You can? Yeah. We decided to push the seats all the way forward and have the plywood go the entire length of the vehicle. But of course, when we have to drive, the seats will need to come back. So this was another great idea that we took from that video to use a piano hinge to actually fold up the piece of plywood and be able to move the seats completely back. Yeah, to 45 and then it'll fold right here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have, then we just have access to everything here. So I won't do 40, I won't do 45, I'll do 43. Okay. You know why? Why? Vancouver Canucks captain. Who's the captain? We still have Paul Coulson. No. Queen Hughes. Huh. So basically there's gonna be two parts of the bed platform um, and it's gonna be on a hinge because like right now I'm behind the passenger seat and then the back seats I'm like wedged in here right now. But this space will be really helpful for two reasons. One, we'll just have like extra storage under the bed. And number two is that Nick will be able to lay down 
fully because we'll have all this extra space from here and then to the start of the seats right here. So this much of the platform is going to be on a hinge. I wanna show you what I just got from Kmart. Because this is a Land Rover Discovery 1, everybody calls the Land Rover Discoveries like discos. So I got us disco balls for our disco. Update, Nick has just fully started measuring in centimeters. Inches are out. So we bought these like adhesive carpet squares to lay over the top of the whole thing as we're pushing the mattress on and putting stuff on top. It's not gonna snag on any of the wood. Also, it's going to sit a little bit more flush with this hinge because um, they're quite thick. So this way, when we put the mattress down or whatever, we're not gonna be feeling this hinge as much. This way, it'll just flush it up just a little bit more. Of course we don't have enough of the carpet tiles, so we have to go back and get more, but it's raining outside and we already have to go into town tomorrow anyway to do some other stuff, so we'll just get them then. But yeah, we definitely could have done with two packs. I love it. I can just sleep on it like this, I love it. Third trip. Okay, third time's a charm. And another. $36. Just like you're up on a skateboard. <laughs> oh yeah, does this remind you of your warehouse days? Yeah. My fingertips are intact though. This is a lot less harsh than grip tape. All right. Nice. So we were gonna try and buy a mattress off of Facebook Marketplace and we found a few, but they weren't like perfect or they were sold already. We were trying to find something off of Facebook Marketplace to like save money. But when we went into Kathmandu, all of the camping gear was like 40% off. So uh, it's like a $350 mattress that should fit pretty well, but we got it for $210. The measurements, like the width of it should be fine. The length might be a little long, but we might be able to kind of like squeeze it in. Push that around like that. And now, it's inflating. I personally think it's gonna be way too long for a truck, but let's go test it out. Okay, yeah, it's just way too big. We could keep it on a curve like that, but I just want something that actually fits. Okay, so we obviously knew the measurements of our bed area and we compared it to the measurements of that inflatable mattress. The hope was that it would be kind of like malleable enough to turn that back piece that doesn't quite fit, like, Put it kind of flat against the seats like we really needed to see it to see if that was gonna work we could have deflated it every time we leave a campsite or something like that but i just feel like what's the point of having the bed on a hinge if the mattress doesn't fold down in the way that we want it to fold down i tried to look up trifold mattresses here in queenstown and there's there's nothing um so we're not gonna be able to do that option so now our thought is that we're gonna try to make our own so we're going back to the store and we're seeing what we can do and in the end, we found ourselves using three baby cots as our mattress. Because we couldn't find any trifold mattresses here, we decided to make our own. I feel like three of these might be perfect. Now, do they have three? 69 width? Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, I think this star is trying to call you a baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. And then so this piece, when we fold it up. Yeah, we could even have that at the top. Yeah. And that way. That's our little piece. Fold it, it just yeah. folds over. In addition, they're a lot more comfortable than the other mattress that we were trying, like an inflatable mattress. We definitely knew we didn't want like an air mattress that you blow up with the pump. But I feel like this is comfortable. So we ended up spending this much money. I'm gonna have to put it on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head. And honestly, it's so comfortable and so cute. You did such a good job, babe.
and we can't wait to bring it on its maiden voyage this week. Thank you to everybody who watched this video and please let us know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Okay, I just put the camera down, but also look at the skylight. Stargazing is gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun.